Oh, right. Yeah, hell. <clears throat> Hello everybody, my name is Cool Blue, and I'm bringing you guys this video. This is going to be a part of the YouTube Collective. If you guys don't know what that is, like I didn't like 10 minutes ago, then go check it out. They're awesome. Uh, but they're making a video uh, where basically they take YouTubers and they ask them questions and they put them into like a mass video and it's really awesome. So um, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to be a part of the YouTube Collective or Creative Collective, I'm bad. Creative Collective, I'm sorry. So there's six questions that they asked. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and answer all six of those as best to my ability or to the best of my abilities. So we're gonna start with the first one, which is, what kind of channel do you have? Uh, that's an interesting question. The kind of channel I have is a little bit all over the place. Uh, it's mainly a vlogging channel, but it's also a self improvement channel. So I guess the best way to put it, it's, it's kind of like a blend between the vlogging channel where I can do whatever I want with random videos, and also like a self improvement channel where I can work on improving myself as a whole. It's also to a certain extent a comedy channel or a satire channel. Uh, I also have a video series where I get to talk about my daily work, and it's kind of like. Um, a, a living diary of how I feel about work. I actually have a diary for my Diary of the Help Desk Agent series, so if you guys want to check that out, go feel free to check that out. But if, I don't know, just go check it out. Um, but yeah, so this is Diary of the Help Desk Agent. I also have my vlogs, and I also have my Cool Blue Goes Alpha series. So it's kind of like a, it's a really, it's a really unique blend. Um, it's really hard for me to explain it. Um, <clears throat> If I had to get just a straight one-liner what type of channel I have, I would say it's a vlogging channel plus a satire channel plus a channel for self-improvement. I mean, however else you can blend those three, that's kind of what it is as a whole. So that's my entire channel, that's all I can say, and we'll move on to the next question. <clears throat> question number two, who is your favorite YouTuber? Why? Hmm. My favorite YouTuber, see that, that question throws me off a little bit. Um, I, I, I watch YouTube in a lot of different instances, but my favorite YouTuber, if I had to name one that's at the top of my head right now, uh, it'll be a, it'll be definitely Linus, uh, Linus Tech Tips. If you guys don't know who he is, go check him out. He's not really like a YouTuber, but he has like his YouTube group, like Linus Media Group, and they do a lot of tech videos and stuff and a lot of reviews. And I just name him because it's a relatively safe thing for me to name. And also, I always go back and watch his tech videos at the end of the day. <clears throat> just so I can figure out what's new and what's going on. Uh, so shout out to you Linus, you're awesome. Uh, if I had to name a few other YouTubers that I like, um, I would also go ahead and name... Uh, <laughs> I would also go ahead and name Rose and Rosie. Go check them out. They're, uh, they, they're a couple. They're actually married now. Uh, and they like to do their YouTube vlogging videos and stuff. They do like random videos. Um, I also would give a shout out to... If I can remember the name of it, uh, 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 Erica. Uh, Erica, she does videos on tech as well. She's a nice tech vlogger. And there's another one. Oh, Bart and Geo. I love them. They're awesome. They're amazing. They're a couple as well, and they do relationship videos and advice videos, and they're really cool. So go check them out. So those are my favorite YouTubers. Um, if I had to pick one, though, it would be Linus from Linus Media Group. So shout out to you, Linus. You are awesome. I love all your tech videos, and please send me a Titan X, because I would love to have one. Anyway. All right, so question number three says, who is your least favorite YouTuber? Why? My least favorite YouTuber. My least favorite YouTuber is, see that's a tough question, um, I, I didn't put any thought to this. I have a least favorite YouTuber for a reason, for a personal reason. Um, I'm not going to name them because I don't want to give them the satisfaction of me naming them, so screw you guys, you can go die in a fire please. Um, but my least favorite YouTuber, if I had to name any YouTuber, um, I would have to say might be whoever made the Annoying Orange. Uh, whoever you are that made the Annoying Orange, I do not like you, please. Please proceed to feel bad about all your stuff. I hate the annoying orange. I know it's no longer a thing anymore, and I'm probably making a thing by mentioning it. Mentioning it, but whoever made that, I, I do not like you as a person, um, because that is the most annoying thing I've ever seen. It's the most obnoxious. And, uh, that's horrible. Anyway, so whoever that is, that YouTuber, I don't like them. That is right, okay. Let me tell you about. It. I don't necessarily like not like them personally. I just don't like what they made, and I don't appreciate it because it, it's really annoying. And all my friends seem to like annoying orange, and it's so annoying. And orange. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> What's your opinion about gaming channels? 
Um, my opinion about gaming channels, because if you guys don't know, I have a history of being a Dota 2 commentator. I did commentary for Dota 2, which is a game. I did commentary for that for two years, two whole entire years. It was really amazing, really fun, um, but it never really got too terribly far. I think by the end of my two year stride, I had about 130, 120 uh, subscribers. Uh, so it wasn't really like, I wasn't really like super huge in it or anything. I was relative to the world of YouTube, really small. Uh, but I, I appreciate the gamers. Uh, out there in the community. Um, I know a lot of people do let's plays, I know a lot of people do speed runs, I know a lot of people do guides and people do reviews and stuff as far as the gaming community goes and I do appreciate everything that you guys do but I got to say it is one of the most annoying things to go into many groups where you're trying to find collab collaboration partners and like 75% of people there are saying hey I have a gaming channel it's awesome oh, annoying. Especially since I'm no longer in gaming, so I can't necessarily say, hey, I would love to do a gaming series with you in Grand Theft Auto 5. Although I can, I don't, I don't necessarily want to go back to gaming. Not necessarily saying gaming is a bad thing, but I want to try to do the vlogging thing, and I want to start doing reviews on horror games and all this stuff. I, I have more things that I want to try to do, so my opinion on gaming channels is like really, really razor edge. Like I'm on the fence between I dislike them strongly and I like them strongly. So like, I guess I'm just kind of the neutral feel. Um, I have a huge appreciation for what they do. I have a huge appreciation for them as a whole because I love playing games. I love video games. I love any type of game. And I like watching reviews about it before I go buy it and all this stuff. And I'm a huge, huge patron of the arts for that aspect. But then again, it gets really annoying just to see like 75% of YouTube is gaming channels. And it's really, really crazy. Actually, that's not true. More like 20%. The other percentage is beauty videos, allegedly. Moving on to the next set of video, or next question. The next question says, what's your opinion about famous game commentators? So this is gonna be an interesting question for me to answer as well because I, like I said, I did Dota 2 commentary. So I actually, not necessarily personally know a lot of Dota 2 commentators, but I know people who commentate on Dota 2 games, uh, like the super high pros like Purge, shout out to you, Shiver. I also know, um, well I don't know, but I know of Toby, I know of, uh, uh, Crap. Zyora, LD, all those people. If you guys don't know who they are, don't worry about it. You don't necessarily have to know. Um, but they're really awesome. And uh, I like I, I, I like the idea of famous, famous, uh, famous game commentators. Um, I think they do an awesome job. Or Yeah, they do an awesome job. They bring a lot of people into the art form of playing the game or the enjoyment of playing the game, especially when it comes down to esports, like competitive gameplay, like, you know, Day9, back when he's captain of Starcraft, and they got Husky doing, or doing Hearthstone stuff nowadays, and it's just really awesome because you have people who have a very nice personality just injecting that into their video, injecting that into their content, and just making you want to go play the game more, so I, I have a high appreciation for them, but at the same time, it's just like, you know, I guess it's hard for them to do so, but it it really shaves off the limelight for people who are trying to become newer into it. Like I said, I was an aspiring caster at one point in my life, uh, and it was really difficult to go and to commentate a really popular game with like you know two people or two teams that everybody really wants to know in the general community, and you're sitting there, you no name person, or commentating while you have Toby. Toby One commentating on the game as well. Like everybody's gonna listen to Toby One, they're not gonna listen to you. So it makes it really difficult for people to break into it. So um, from that aspect, I, I think it's a very, it's it's a very, it's a very once again, I'm, I'm like middle line because I I've been there, I know it, I kind of grew up with it. But then again, I'm on the other side now. I'm like looking back, I'm like, dang, that really sucked. So my opinion, my opinion on famous game commentators is a once again up in the air one. I'm kind of in the middle because I, I feel for both sides. Alright, and the last question is, what's your opinion of PewDiePie? <laughs> My opinion of PewDiePie, um, see, PewDiePie is really awesome, PewDiePie is really cool, I like him as a person, um, I, I like everything he does when he strives forward to go and do his commentary, he puts a lot of emotion into it, and uh, I think... I think him as a person, I like him. Him and his content, I like it as well. I just think it's very, very, very annoying. Some of his uh, his followers, his following, it's it's like such a toxic waste of people sometimes. And PewDiePie kind of promotes that a little bit to a certain extent, so that, that kind of frustrates me with PewDiePie. But in general, PewDiePie is a really awesome person. I love everything that he does. Um, overall, I have a very positive opinion of PewDiePie. It's just when it comes down to community, which I know he can't really control, but he can influence. Uh, it does get very sucky sometimes. So PewDiePie, I have a good opinion of you. You're doing good. Keep on doing what you're doing. Keep bringing the likes of people to the world of gaming because gaming is awesome and we need more people to appreciate gaming.
even though I don't want to do see that many native vloggers. Okay, that's weird. Man, I'm, I'm like I'm like a contradiction right now. Anywho, so that's gonna be it for this video. I just did the whole entire thing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna submit this because it's about under 10 minutes. I gotta clip it a little bit now. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and clip it for myself, clip it for the people at the Creative Collective. Shout out to the Creative Collective for doing this awesome event. If you guys wanna check out their last video, I'll go ahead and post it somewhere on the screen on my end card. You can check that out. You can also check out my previous videos on my end card as well. So go check that out and that'll be it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you guys whenever.